This Lego set just barely came out and its design is almost an exact copy of someone else's build. Even worse is that their design almost became a Lego set but was denied. And now Lego's using their design in a completely different set. So I'm gonna build this and see just how much Lego copied. Let's do this. So in 2019, a father and his son built a working Lego garbage truck design, which was really cool. And this Lego set is really, really close to it. So this is the set, it's a Lego Technic set, but as you can see, there's this whole function right here for picking up a garbage can. You can see the tilting up feature there, and then right here, it tells you that the wheels can even turn, and then you can dump out the trash. But the part I'm most interested in is the garbage truck dumping mechanism. Okay, let's open the set up. So there's two punch tabs out back. There and another right there. Oh man, I still hate punch tabs. Like both of them basically came off. Yeah, let's open this. Wow, that's actually a lot. This is like a $33 set. So it's actually quite a few pieces for that price. And there's quite a few stickers too. There's four different bags and the instructions are pretty thick. So this might take a little bit plus it's Technic, but it'll be worth it to see how much Lego actually copied. Okay, let's open bag one. This bag is huge. <laughs> We go. Yeah, just a bunch of basic Technic pieces. So yeah, let's get building. Okay, this is really weird. I found like an error in the instructions. Right here, you can see that that notch in that peg right there is facing out and it's supposed to look like this. In this page, as you can see, there's the notch is inward, but for some reason it's outward on this part. And then on the next page, it just goes right back to normal. Cause you put it out with a notch like that, this step won't even work. So it's really weird. They must've just messed up on that one page. It's kind of funny that they did that. But yeah, gotta get back to building. Well, I completely forgot to record on the second part, but I finished bag one and as you can see, there's this steering mechanism up front, which is kind of hard to reach right now, but it moves these. And I like it because it uses that piece in there instead of using gears, which is just way nicer because it won't have as many problems. And then the other feature is the bed. As you can see, like tilts up the back. I'm guessing it's gonna hook onto this. And as it rolls up, it dumps it. I haven't started on the actual garbage, like picking up part. But yeah, let's open bag two. There we go. So there's a box in this one, which means there's some sort of like string specialized piece of some sort. I don't even know what it is. I didn't know the set came with one of those. Got all these pieces, we got some duct silver, just one by two tiles. That's actually pretty cool. I actually think I might be working on the claw, like the actual garbage picker up in this bag. Actually, it's not the garbage picker up yet, but let's see what's in the box. Wow, this is the best opening. I, what? Oh, there's a rubber band. All that for this super small white rubber band. I don't even know what this is used for in the set, so that's interesting, but yeah, let's build. Okay, so I guess I do make the picking up function in this bag. There's a new piece in it that the other people's design could have used and it's super nice. Let me show you. So this gear right here is the old one. And as you can see, it's just like a regular gear like you'd expect. So let's just put that on there. And then this gray one's actually the new one. I know they look like identical. <laughs> but they are different. So as you can see, they spin normal, but the axle inside is spinning the same on each side. So if I line them up both like this, you can see that that axle is straight with all of the teeth on this gear, while this one is slightly offset. And that makes it so that both of these axles coming out move the exact same instead of being slightly shifted. Just for comparison, here's another one of these gears. And if I put them together, you can see that on the bottom, those axles aren't aligned whatsoever. So that's what this piece is for. And it's a crucial function to how this works. But yeah, let's get back to building. Okay, it's the end of bag two. You can start to see the claw feature starting to work, which is really cool. But yeah, let's move on to bag three. And this one's got a lot of bigger pieces. And then there we go. 
Nothing really special about this one. There is six tires on this car, which is interesting, but that's because it's a garbage truck. But yeah, let's get to building. I can't believe I did it again, but I forgot to click record for the time lapse and I just realized. But here's the rest of the bag three. As you can see, the beginning of the truck, like garbage holder stuff is starting over here and the whole chute's made for this thing. So you can probably tell what bag four is gonna be. Now bag four has got like most of the giant pieces. Like look at these, these panels are huge. Like these for the back of it. And then there's these pins, a lot of them. And there's another bag of pins. I didn't realize this until just barely, but the garbage can pieces are toad heads from Lego Mario in gray. That's kind of weird. But yeah, let's finish this garbage truck. Okay, I finally finished. So as you can see, this is the finished build. Something's, oh, my brother put that in there. I don't know what he was doing, but he put a different Lego trash can in the end. Um, so you lift the trash can up, dump it in, and then it falls back into here, and then you can dump it out. Psh like an actual garbage truck, so that's really cool. But let me show you it with what I just spilled. The trash can with the blue and red trash. Okay, let's place down the trash can, and I can just drive up the working Lego garbage truck over here and turn it and everything. And then I roll this knob on the other side and then the arms come out of the side of the truck, grab it, and then it's got issues as you can see, it tilted like back, but then it goes up really hard to turn. Oh my. And as you can see, that rubber band also causes some launching issues. I wish they figured out a way to not have to use the rubber band, oh my. I wish I figured out a way to not use the rubber band because it's really annoying with how fast it slaps down. It's really hard to push up. The reason they have it is when you go back, you can push extra far and push it out and the rubber band just prevents that. But yeah, then the truck bed just raises up and dumps all of them out, except it doesn't dump all of them out. They get stuck on this little ledge right here like there, because it's where two pieces meet, so they just get stuck there, and then they don't come out of the back. It's a little unreliable there. And you wanna know another place where they get stuck? On the little ramp down into there. So it's kind of unreliable. The original design that they probably copied, I rebuilt right here. Let me show you. So here's the original garbage picking up design. I actually had to recreate this from an image because there wasn't instructions anywhere that I could find. So I'm pretty sure it's right from what I saw in the images. But with this one, you just get a trash can and you put one of these tiles in the bottom. And then you set that down and then you just rotate the gear and it'll pick it up and dump it. Like that, really simple. And the mechanism that does this is like almost identical to this set. This set just does it slightly differently. So as this gear is spun, you can see that it moves all of those, right? All those gears. As soon as this gear can't spin anymore, since this whole assembly is running off of that, that axle right there, when that gear stops spinning, the whole assembly rises up with it to dump. And then gravity will make it fall back down. This one does not use rubber bands, which actually makes it a lot nicer. It's way easier to make it go up and down. And I actually kind of prefer it over this one to make it go up and down. Because the other one, instead of just falling like that, at that speed of gravity, it's like, like super fast. It does break some. See, so yeah, the garbage truck design was also really similar to this i didn't build all of that but their design had it go into a chute but then there was another lever to push all the things into the bed instead of having a ramp which honestly might have been better in this case because so many get stuck on the ramp in this set and so many get stuck in the bed like it's actually pretty bad how many get stuck in this but the cranking mechanism on here it is that slightly different as you can see that gear so instead of using one gear at the top part right here they use two which is over complicating it and it makes it just bigger. I don't know why they did that, but basically everything else is the same. These gears are giant gears instead of small ones. Like they just kind of like oversized it in this set, which I don't understand why. There's even this big chunk of Technic hanging out and these big gears at the bottom just aren't too pleasing to look at. So honestly, with looks, I think the original one's definitely better. Now, you know that gear I was talking about earlier? It's right here and that makes it so it lines up straight, remember? Well, back in the day when this one was made, that gear did not exist yet. So in order to get that same effect, one of these legs isn't on an axle. It's actually on a stud, so then you can put it on here at whatever angle you please so that it lines up perfectly with the other one. It's a good way around it, but it could move so it's not like the most reliable, but it's still a really good way to work. As you can see, 
even if you push them together, it's not sliding. So that's good. Okay, another thing that just really sucks about the new one, as you saw earlier, when I try to grab the garbage can with these grippers right here, they do have rubber pieces, which is a step up from this one because rubber can just hold like basically anything. But if you try to pick this garbage can up, it'll just like move. Like see how it shifted there and it's like tilted? You probably can't very well. That time it actually worked really well. The one time I show it. Yeah, like this, it'll like tilt out like that and then it makes it so not all of them dump in when you do that, which is really annoying. And the old one just doesn't even need that because every garbage can is the same, doesn't need to pick it up with weird rubber things that don't work 100% of the time. And this one will just easily pick it up and go. Super flawless, which I really like this design, it's really nice. Now some of you might be wondering why I even think that Lego copied the original design of this, and here's why. So in 2019, the people that made this design actually submitted it to Lego Ideas, and if you don't know what Lego Ideas is, it's where people can post their designs, and if it gets 10,000 supporters, then Lego can consider it for a set. And what do you know, eventually it actually did reach 10,000 supporters. So every couple of months, the projects that reach 10,000 supporters are all reviewed by Lego. And sadly, the working Lego garbage truck design wasn't accepted which is kind of sad because i saw this when it first came out and i thought it was really cool but lego didn't want to make it a set so that's why five years later when i saw this set i was highly suspicious lego had already seen these guys' entire design so they had to have taken some inspiration and this is actually fairly close to this so if this gear mechanism is accurate to real life, it makes sense why these sets have such similar claws. But my guess is garbage trucks nowadays probably aren't this simple and are a lot more complicated. Someone can correct me on that if you know like a ton about garbage trucks or something, but I'm guessing it's not. I wish back when this design reached 10,000 supporters that Lego actually accepted it. Cause then if they copied this exact design, it'd work a lot better than this one. <laughs> this one's just janky. Like I was showing you the garbage can doesn't work and the ramp doesn't work half the time. The bed doesn't dump them all out. So it's like kind of hard. I think the main reason for that is it's Technic and things don't line up as well as they do with Lego pieces. Like just these gaps from that, these pieces being curved and this one's being straight right there. It's just like things like that in Lego Technic. So it might've been better if this was a regular Lego system set instead of a Technic one. But nonetheless, it still is really cool even if Lego copied someone else's design. Okay guys, that's it for the video. Let me know down in the comments if you think Lego actually copied this design or if they didn't. I think that since Lego reviewed this on Lego Ideas, they definitely saw the function and I think it was kind of the inspiration around this set. This one's basically got the same thing, but it's got a couple of tweaks like the bigger arms and bigger gears and so forth. Now I'm not bashing on the Lego designers or anything, the set actually looks really good and everyone needs some sort of inspiration. So yeah, if you want to check out a video similar to this, I'll have a link up here in the corner and down in the description. But as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell. Well, that bell sounded like a voice crack or something. <laughs>